Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial in camera and lens repair. And this time I will show you how this little fellow, the Olympus lens 9mm f8 fish eye, will look inside. And um, it's actually a very good lens, uh, even if you see it's really, really, really plastic. And um, <laughs> Olympus actually said, yeah, this is just a lens, I mean a camera cap, uh, because it's very thin, it's just pancake lens. But I would like to go to see what's inside, and also because the lens has some dirt on the edge of the lens, uh, because I have used it a lot. It's uh, quite smart because it has built in a lens cap. So you do not need to have a cover on it. Just push the lever here and it will open up to infinity. That's it. And then you can move it a little closer. And then you have down to 20 centimeter. If we look at the back, there is no electronic in this lens. It's fully mechanical, made of, uh, well, 90% plastic. <laughs> But it, it, it works really good, so uh, I can recommend this uh, lens, and it's not so expensive. Well, let's uh, see what we can do about the cleaning and what's inside. We need some tools, at least uh, one or two JIS screwdrivers, a 2mm, and a 2.5. Well, you could maybe only need the one 2.5 or you could use the other as a two two millimeter some tweezers are also always very handy is if it's curved or straight doesn't matter a pen a permanent marker is also really good with a fine tip just to set small marks inside when we disassemble it <coughs> Of the back lens cap and before we do anything under I mean when you unscrew this this and this take off the cap three I mean three uh, small spacers will sit underneath not the screw itself but under the plastic here so this is very important when you uh, unscrew the screws, you do it straight and have a, you press down here, um, close to the front, and uh, you can press down here and unscrew all of the screws. Then lift it up, lift up the mount, and inside you will see three washers, uh, spacious. Well, they are all the same as I see it, and um, I just marked them with one, two, and three. But let's see. So we just unscrew the three screws here. And have a good grip. And press very gently down on it. So there and the last screw. Hold it straight there and so now we will see it. We can hopefully gently lift it up. Okay, one spacer fold down, but we'll fix it. I mean, we'll find it just right here so and if I can turn it correctly so if you see here the three spaces just sit on the on the small tube here and uh, I figured out because I just unscrew it and haven't 
um, not seeing the three spacers here, but two of them sit correct. So one other was just falling down here or so. And I think, okay, that's fine enough. Just give it one, it will say here, and two over here. And number three is, of course, it can only sit there. That's important. If it is so the spacers are different, because it could be different in your lens, um, if you compare to my lens. But they look very similar. So there. And um, so next thing is this, before we continue, it's good not to confuse yourself because there's no service manual for this lens. So just set a mark in here, there, and just make a little circle so you have it where it, it should be, I mean, so you know where things sit when it's correct. And uh, also, as I mentioned, uh, set marks here with the, at least two spacers. Now, um, we need to actually take off the back here first. I thought it was uh, necessary to take off the, this, this, and this screw, but no. It will be this, this, and this. Then you can pull off the whole uh, plastic back here and the lens assembly and the spring inside here will come off. And then you can take off the, the front plate and the plastic parts here. So we can just continue with this one. And um, a good thing is press a little down here uh, because there is a spring around the lens assembly. So just press it gently. So there, and the last one. So that's it. Then we can lift up and again underneath here, underneath this uh, little, uh, well, plastic pin or so, there is a spring that actually is uh, part of the locking mechanism, not the locking mechanism, but the click function in here. So when it says click, um, it's because there is a little spring here and a steel ball uh, right under the, the front here. So be gently to pull it off and very gently lift it up and here we have it. It can actually only sit in one position because there are some guide pins here. So it's not uh, possible to put it, I mean to assemble it wrong. Now, as I mentioned, the tiny spring here for the click function, this one here, and uh, if we look down to here, I will use a magnetized screwdriver and we can just hit up the tiny steel ball. They have added some grease to the steel ball so it will run smooth and gently. Now, then we can pull, up, pull off the, uh, the little spring that actually hold the it's very soft spring um, and it will only hold the lens assembly which before we take it out uh, you can set a little mark here just like I did possibly you can see it here uh, we can just do it again set the mark here 
and uh, in line with the with the the guide pin here there is another pin down here but i you will use only one guide pin so uh, not to confuse myself and again then you can lift up the whole lens assembly there is also a little notch here which you probably can see there in the edge and it will say this uh, the lens assembly can only sit in one position and stay there so there's not really any you cannot do it wrong you see the little notch there and it's in line almost with the with this pin all down here with the um, this is what we see what's happened if I move the the front lever here and open actually open the lens look what will happen the lens will not turn but the ring the cam ring also will move the lens and we can actually see it here if in a another angle see now it's open and uh, at close focus but now it's actually at um, at infinity and if I turn it it will go up to closed so uh, it cannot really sit in a wrong position so I can lift the lens assembly out be careful to not uh, just put it straight on your desk because it's very uh, exposed the lens here and also the back of the lens assembly is very exposed to if you just put it on on some metal thing or so i will just use my proper cone here and put it straight here and will just stay there now um the ring here um, will not fall out not yet <laughs> actually but you can see if I turn it it's almost will come off but not yet because um, it's held in place by the this uh, the, the ring inside here and uh, to come into the front here we need to unscrew the three screws here and uh, the front plate can also only sit in one position so we can open it by unscrew it and it's quite easy there yeah. so there and there are some plastic pins I mean plastic parts so if we turn it over and lift it up there will be some parts in here turn it around so it looks like this it will see something uh, nothing special this uh, part here can all I mean this part here the front plate can also only sit in one position so don't worry about that now let's see how it actually works on the front so if I open the lens uh, the this plate here will also open see and now it's fully open and then I change the to more near something and this is a full near end so the the blade here the front cap <laughs> blade is all fully open and uh, you can just close it again and then say okay I want to take off the blade the front cap blade here which should be quite simple see here and this is how it looks on the back 
you can't only sit in one position. So there. And we can actually also take the, the front ring here. And we'll also look here. See, there is a pin there. And it goes into that hole here. And it's actually on the on the back. It will be this hole here. So if I want to take this ring off, I just move it slightly. So you can see all the three notches here is uh, open in a way. Then I can just lift the ring off. And there are some grease on it, which is fine. Not much, uh, but it, it's all fine. And then we have the the lens fully uh, taken apart. So I will just put it back in again. Uh, see, it can sit there, but I don't think it is. Oh, on that tweezer. I think it's not possible to put it in the wrong way. No. It's not possible to assemble it wrong, which is good. So there, and this is where the, the mark is here, and the same here. So you can see, you can only sit in that way. So we just turn it a little, so it's in line with the guide pin there, so it will not fall out. Then flip it over and uh, put the, I don't know the name of this uh, ring here, but the it's uh, the lever ring, if we could call it that. And the little pin here will go into the hole there. So we can just put it over. Um, and it's a good thing, you see, it's over there. And we can turn it. Oh. <laughs> so it's fine. Then I can put on the the plate, this uh, the lens cap plate. This will sit there, and um, there's this little pin here. I will say, oh, <laughs> this little pin here. There is another pin over here, but we will not use that. It's not for this case. It will, I mean, um, when you open it, it will follow the other plate on this side, I think. So we can just put it on, on the main post here. So there. Hmm almost so and then so come on little fella there here we are and then we are back again so <clears throat> And then we can put on the front, uh, the front, uh, yeah, cover. You see the three posts here. It will go into the three holes here. So you just find the right position. Flip it over, and here we are. I just need to have a 
que and they will go on to the the beak holes here I mean the bigger I mean post or something I don't know the name of it there and uh, take care of not screw it too much in it is plastic but it's actually good quality of plastic I mean if you compare to many other manufacturers plastic parts so and here we are back again and it's very loose as it should be so that's fine and um, now we can actually um, put the lens assembly in uh, I'll just give it a little cleaning <sighs> because it, it was really say dirty and I didn't have any isopropyl alcohol right here and we just clean the back of the lens give it some that's fine find the little the little notch here on the lens assembly you can see here and it will go in here so it's almost in line with the with the notch I mean the <laughs> the guide pin here this one uh, or the other one down here so when turning the, the actual uh, front lever here the lens itself will not turn it will just go in and out so that's it and now uh, we need to put in the of course we need to put in the the big spring here that press the lens assembly down but we also need to put the little steel ball here into the little hole there and then the little spring also comes in so it will just stick out like this but um, oh yeah the little the, and the, <laughs> the big spring here comes on and then uh, before you actually continue uh, it's good to actually load a screwdriver with a screw because it will make it much easier when a sample so we can put the screwdriver here and use the other screwdriver if you have two of course it it's easier if you have two screwdrivers but um, see the uh, the back cover here of the uh, that covers the whole uh, spring and lens assembly and so there is a little hole here it, no it's not really a hole it's just a boring where this spring can go into so when we put it over make sure if it's possible to show you like this one will sit there go into and then we can just put it on something like that and uh, the little guide pin here will also uh, go into the little pin here to the little hole and then press it gently down and put the screw the first screw 
you put in has to be closest to there you will say this screw because then you press the spring down it will make it easier if you only have one screwdriver something like that there is a little tension from the the bigger spring here in but it doesn't really do anything and um, then just make the other second screw so there and the last one for the last hole over here so and then our lens is back to normal see it can open then I move it and then it goes to 20 centimeter it will go longer out you see so that's it uh, so we actually only need to put the three spacers which has a number one two and three put them in place take the first one here oh. and it will sit there number two over here and number three which will sit there now load a uh, screwdriver again with some screws so there and be very careful when you put this on um, to not push the on the spacers so they will fall off inside the lens so we'll just see put the back uh, the lens mount over here there it sit press gently and then screw one screw in and let it stay don't move it or you, <laughs> you will have to open it up again and then the last screw So, there is no need for do anything with those three screws here because it will only lift up a back uh, which it, it does not do anything so now my lens is uh, back to normal and uh, can be used to take photos again it could also be used <laughs> to use it to take photos before but now you have a look inside this uh, actually very good lens so that's all for me hope you enjoy it and uh, can use the info that's all bye bye